Hello, everyone. Woo! Oh, it's nice to have a cheer, but um, I get a bit emotional because um, this is the closing session. Um, I've seen great friends again. I've made new friends, lots of new friends. Um, I've heard great things, uh, talks and conversations, and some of you I may not see for a year or more, so maybe I'll start <laughs> again, Thierry. Um, but I've got some exciting announcements, a few things to talk about. Um, also, some of you may know from other state of the maps that uh, you know it's not over until the loud mapper sings. Um, I'm just going to tell you my audio cable's plugged in and we'll see what happens at the end. Um, so, um, can anyone tell me where State of the Map was in 2008? Limerick. Limerick in Ireland, oh good. Put your hand up if you were there. It was my first State of the Map. We got, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six of us? That's cool, you can maybe spot them there. Um, there's a few people drinking in that photo. It was much smaller and more casual. Um, and so, I want to invite Dermot to come up um, because Dermot, you were there in. Sorry, I should go back. Do you know where you are? You in the photo? Yeah. We don't have a clicker. I'm hidden behind. Uh, where the hell? I, <laughs> I found myself. Right, yeah, I think I'm right beside, right beside the banner there. Uh, oh, I'll <laughs> peeping out. Crouch nice. So um, yeah, so Dermot was there um, and Open Street Map Ireland. It's a Open Street Map community like others. Um, you sent me some photos that you do different things, organise events and projects, um, which may be your part of a you open shoot. See community. here, I only own one T-shirt. <laughs> which that's some state of the map of you, isn't it? <laughs> yes, sorry, I should have. I didn't expect them um, to speak, but. Um, <laughs> oh, but oh, you, well, well, you planned that well, didn't you? He's also you were poet laureate of. Uh, State of the map? To the best of my understanding, I'm still Poet Laureate because there hasn't been another poetry competition since Amsterdam. Um, so, yeah, open street map communities. I mean, I think if you are an open street mapper, which you all are by being here, then um, you have a community. It may be small, it may be large, it may do some of these things that um, Open Street Map Ireland do. Um, but you organise different things. Um, and it's great that. We have this formality. There's the OpenStreetMap Foundation, which represents OpenStreetMap and runs um, the official website and some of the official servers and runs this conference. And we have a local chapter kind of framework to say, ah, oh, there's an organization in this area of the world. They are representing OpenStreetMap in that area. Um, my, me, myself, I'm part of. OpenStreetMap UK, which is kind of your neighbour, um, and so I'm quite excited. We we do overlap with um, our remit uh, because of uh, political situations that we won't go into, but and because of different organisations that overlap anyway, we overlap in in our remit overlaps with yours, which is very exciting. Um, but you know, we want you to be an official. Um, OpenStreetMap Foundation local chapter. You've been working on that, um, creating a formal organisation that's registered in Ireland. Um, and so if I can invite down some of the OpenStreetMap Foundation board members. I know Yos is going to come. Just the one am I getting? Yeah. I know, and I'm getting Paul. Cool. Two of you. Come on, Frederick. We'll have three of you. It's a nice odd number, which says something about mappers. Um, so, today on this spot, OpenStreetMap Ireland is going to become a local chapter. Um, so, there's some paperwork to sign. Are you guys going to do that now? Is there a lawyer, is there a lawyer in the house? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've probably seen this agreement, haven't you? <laughs> so, um, if you guys, there's a table there, um, and you probably know better what I'm doing. Oh, wait a minute, we have to read it first. Yes, yes, no, I would not want you to to sign anything without reading it, or at least assure... Because, <laughs> you know, licences are important to us. Um, I, would, I would like to think that you guys know what is in the local chapter agreement anyway, and have read it, um, as this isn't the first local chapter. Um, 
And so we'll do the signing and we'll get some photos of you guys shaking hands um, because this is something we do want to celebrate. Um, so actually, I had a better slide, didn't I? Yeah. So, um, so if you got me. Hey. They didn't clap for the photo that Dermot was in. <laughs> but yeah. Who would? <laughs> but the, the chapters are great. So um, if you've got community um, that's starting to, to do things and wants to be that representative, get in touch, speak to these board members now, speak to Dermot for advice, um, and they can help you out. And the wiki's got more information about that and the foundation website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, Don't forget your copy. Oh, <laughs> into my house. Well, if you, if you pay for the electricity, we could maybe uh, host some servers there. I don't know. Yeah, we, we'll, 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 be, we'll be staying in the EU for anyone who, who gets confused about these things. So maybe, maybe, maybe that'll help. <laughs> cool. So, um, yeah, talk to, talk to these guys if you're interested about what being a local chapter means. Um, and I think they're very keen to talk to you, even if it's at early stages, um, to answer your questions. Um, you can be a member of a local chapter. You can also be a member of the foundation, which is great if there isn't a formal local chapter in your area. I encourage you to go to the website. How did that happen? I encourage you to go to that website there <laughs> and join and become a foundation. I really hope it doesn't do that on the other slides. Um, so let's move on to this then. Um, I want to say well done to everyone that was nominated for an OpenStreetMap Award. We had the ceremony earlier in the conference. Um, so there are the winners of the awards and their nominees. Um, you've all done great stuff. Um, you can look at the website if you want to know more details about why they uh, were nominated. And I think if you know them, go and congratulate them. But can we clap for them now? Brilliant. And don't forget when the awards open for next year to nominate people or start thinking now. Um, well, start doing great stuff, continue doing great stuff, and maybe your name will be up there. Um, and this conference takes a lot of people. Um, the speakers, thank you for submitting your talks, for preparing them, and of course presenting them. There's been amazing things. We've had the whole kind of subject we often have. We've had new subjects. We've had people from different places um, and from kind of different backgrounds, um, different ways into OpenStreetMap. It's been really great. Um, thank you for you guys and the people that have left early um, and the people watching the live stream and tweeting and using Telegram. That uh, really makes the conference as well. And I think you've been a great um, group of attendees, great participants um, and all good friends. Um, and we can do it with the, um, with the time uh, needed to run this. I'd like to invite all volunteers down to the front. If you've worn a blue shirt, if you've... Yeah, come on down, come on down. And while they're still coming down,
not sure. I was going to say there's also been some people who maybe didn't wear a blue shirt. Maybe you signed up because we needed extra people. Thank you for you guys. A lot of people stepped in. Some of them have probably left early. Um, but yeah, thank you for these guys. We've had a lot of help from the local team. Um, Christine's going to want to say something. Stop, don't forget that what you do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she says, don't forget a team. There's so many teams to thank. Christine, who chairwoman of State of the Map, does an amazing job. As you've got the wrong name tag on. <laughs> Thank you. She does... Often I just find it too stressful and I'm not up to date on my email. I just turn up and I'm the face of the conference. Um, but a lot of us have um, kind of, over the year, I'll talk about it a bit more later, um, takes a lot of running and Christine's headed that up and made sure we don't forget things. Like, on your booklet, in your booklet, if you still got it, I lost my first one, page 52 and page 53. Um, there's a lot of names here, so I'm just going to go through the titles quickly, and then we'll do a clap at the end. Um, we've got the State of the Map core working group, people like Christine and a few others of us. Look at the names, thank them. If you know them, go and thank them in person. Um, we have, so they really helped throughout the year and choosing the conference. We've got the local team that knew the area, knew the venue, knew where we could have a good social and things like that knew where we could find some students to brew our first conference beer. Um, we've got the academic track committee that really understand the academic world, um, the research body, and so they were able to review those sessions that were proposed and make sure they were high quality, um, just as the kind of um, wider programme selection committee did, made sure we had high quality, interesting, um, talks that were new material and new people speaking as well as experienced people that you got to hear. Um, and we had the video recording and streaming team because if you missed a talk, because there were so many great tracks, you'll be able to go and look at the ones that were recorded. Maybe you went to a talk and you want to watch it again, I know I do, um, and I want to share it with friends. So thank you for them, they've been really helpful um, with their equipment and when things when some of us less able at technology have needed help. Um, and there's some special thanks that uh, don't, don't go on a team, but we've got Dor Dorothea, who's the admin assistant for the foundation. We like to use her time a lot as our working group. Um, so she's particularly helped with the scholarships um, and their visas so people could come. Um, Frederick Ram, who's the treasurer on the board, um, is really helpful, um, just that kind of finance, because obviously there's a lot of money coming and going and it probably causes some headache. Um, Ilya, who we wanted to have awards a few years ago and it never happened, and because we're too busy running the conference. So Ilya, thank you for, I'm, I love that they now happen every year and that's why I included the names in earlier on. Um, Rachel, who helped with the hot summit and was working on that because it, some of you might have gone to that um, in the days before this one. So it was really great to have a connection on both teams doing that um, and things like just moving so you had um, express registration and you know we knew things would be clear and we didn't duplicate effort. We could reuse things um, like the name badges. Um, and Tom Hughes who helped with the operations, um, working group and kind of things like the website and systems um, and all these people in their own thing, even these people stood up here, they help with little bits because there's lots of things that if we had to do them all, sometimes we just need to find someone, can you sort this out and come back to me with the details um, or, oh, I think we've both got this covered, one person could do it, can you go to the other room where they're short on people, they've been really great. Um, we've had some of you guys are on the Erasmus mapping program. Um, it's been great to see you um, and have your help as well. So, um, so that's all the thanks. But as I said, there are names in the booklet. Please thank them individually if you see them. Um, and for all those people and groups I mentioned, another round of applause, please.
So just really quick, from the local team also, uh, thank you all for attending. Without you, the conference wouldn't, be, wouldn't exist. I hope you had a great time, made new friends, learned something new, and yeah, just had a good time. So as you already said, it's of course a lot of work to organize a, such a conference, and I would say that without the support from the organization committee, the local team couldn't have made it. And just a small gift from us, to our boss, Christine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'll let you go back to your seats. Some of you don't like even being at the front. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, more thank yous. So. <laughs> um, these people are great. Um, I don't have to thank the sponsors. You know, they didn't pay for me to include them in the closing. Um, but they do enable us to keep ticket prices um, low. We need these volunteers. But, you know, there's things like catering and the venue hire. And um, also, we have a scholarship program for people that need assi financial assistance with whether that be flights or flights and accommodation. Um, and without the sponsors, um, we wouldn't, um, yeah, we wouldn't be able to do that. It just would be um, a bit beyond us, or your, your ticket price will probably be far too expensive um, for me to ever have started coming. Um, so thank you to them. That's the, the main sponsors up there, and some of the other ones. Um, And um, that was a blank slide, which confused me. Um, but what does it take? Um, so this is the design of the logo in its first iteration. Hopefully you now know it's, um, you've maybe gone to the bridge where there's the brass monkey, um, which the logo is based on. Um, if not, you can check that out later. Um, there's some dates here I took on, a, you know, it starts in March, you might think, um, when the, when the call for venues comes out, we have a public call asking who wants to host, which community um, wants state of the map to come to them. I would say it actually starts before March um, because it, we need, as you saw how many volunteers there were, and that really wasn't all the volunteers. Um, and you can look at all the names and they really help too. Um, so we need people locally, um, we need people with experience of running an event. So I would say if you want State of the Map to come and to come to your local mappers, which I think you should, um, that actually um, run a smaller event, run a city State of the Map, run a country one or a regional. Um, we hear about these... Um, am I okay? <laughs> yeah, um, we hear, you know, there's, oh, there's lots of events going on like State of the Map EU, State of the Map Asia. Um, they're not the international one, they're not run by the OpenStreetMap Foundation as such. Um, but you can get in touch with us, the State of the Map team, our details on the Foundation website um, or on the conference website. Um, and you can, so you can get in touch with us and we'll help you and we've got some um, notes that we built up over the years on how to run a good event. And I would say that's a great way to start. And then you can think about, hmm, 2021, maybe we'll host State of the Map. 2022, maybe we'll host it. But if you think that, then that means you've got time to run an event. We can see um, that you've got experience as a local team. Um, we can see you've got um, experience running an event. Um, and to know how that went, and then we can um, help talk to you about how you could scale that. So really, it's much better if before March next year you uh, get in touch with us before that. Um, but I kind of missed the year there, didn't I? Um, I kind of talk, missed 2020, which is next year. Um, so um, 
Yes, so we, we did the call for venues 2020. It took a bit of time. We didn't get um, responses straight away um, because, yeah, this is why it's good to plan early and start thinking about it, um, even two years before, if you want to do that. Um, but we did decide where we had some contact with people after the deadline closed and, and then we had a decision to make still. Um, and you can see I'm really building up to this and I get really excited because I had to figure out where I'm booking my main holiday each year. Um, so if we have a drum roll, please. In 2020, State of the Map will be in Cape Town, South Africa. So there are the dates if you need to tell your boss that you need the time off holiday or you need to tell your boss that he's going to pay for you to go to the conference and um, start, you know, sweet talking him now, maybe go and buy a state of the map beer from outside and take that back to him. Um, but if you've got a, um, if you've, if you've, if you're here, you're a delegate, you're on the mailing list, so once we uh, sorting out more details, which tends to come around Christmas, New Year time, when we've built up and, and put th more things in place. Um, then we'll send an email to the delegates of this year. Um, if you didn't come here, so you're watching the live stream, or one of these people is going to go back and tell their friends that you should come to State of the Map 2020 then they can go to the State of the Map website that's on the bottom there and there's an email, sign up for updates. So we will reuse that for, um, for next year. So sign up now. Um, and so events, you know, maybe South Africa's far away for, for you. Maybe July's far away for you. There are lots of open street map events and you really can't read this because there's so many, um, which is why I put the address up there, current events. So, looking at the flags, we've got things happening all over Germany, Japan, France, UK. I won't try and identify every flag. Um, but yeah, there's stuff happening in your area. If not, see what sort of events happen and organise one. Um, and keep mapping and encouraging each other in what open street map work you do. Um, meanwhile, um, so if you've got a name badge, um, we actually, the holders for these were used for a conference and then they got returned and were reused for the hot summit and they got returned and we reused them for this um, conference because, you know, we care about the environment and we're recycling. Um, and so with your name badge, um, there's a big blue box by the welcome desk. If you could take it before you leave, drop it in there um, and that will be really helpful because it can be passed on to another conference um, and we can reduce plastic waste um, and things like that. If you want help with your travel information going somewhere, um, up at the welcome desk they have a screen with the upcoming um, train times I think and They've got printouts of the schedules. They're also, um, there's some local expertise there. Don't ask me how to use the travel system in Heidelberg or, or you know, what's um, good. Um, they'll be much better. Um, and also you could maybe ask them if you're staying around, where should I go, what should I do? Um, and they'll have recommendations. Um, so we're ending this conference. Um, at the end of this next piece, um, the conference will end when it reaches zero on the counter. Um, so the team would like to start packing down, particularly in this room and the other rooms. Um, so, um, yeah, so please, you can go up to the foyer and talk to each other and plan your onward travels um, and um, do that. And hopefully the sound's going to run on this, um, but it's not me. Um, and cheer or laugh if you see yourself and hopefully you'll have fun.